Um, How's it guys? Welcome back to Young Adventures. So, we had the Bredo. <laughs> yeah, we just got here, Zilke and myself, and then Uncle Craig, Uncle Marcy, and Peden out there on the rubber duck. Woohoo! We got the first fish of the trip, guys. A little cold, Joe. Probably about 35 centimeters on a circle hook, corner of the mouth. I didn't get the fight, but let's get the release. Let's get the release. Yeah, you can see the car is dirty because there's a bit of a, a gravel road that we had to hit. So yeah, Silke and myself will be camping in the car. I'll show you the setup. There's a mattress inside the back of the CRV and then all our luggage is in the roof box on top. I have the Andy, I've caught a pounder with us today as well. So we will be eating up the bread that river with the with the Andy tomorrow with quarter the pounder. So yeah, this is basically the setup that we're running right now. Very neat, very chill, very calm. It's a little bit windy. Um, not bad at all. Kamasi and Uncle Craig have their lines out as well. Adrian will probably fly the drone up sometime soon or maybe tomorrow, I don't know. <laughs> we just got here. Uncle Marcy them has been here all day today though. So yeah. Um, ugh. The drive was chilled about three hours, three hours, 30 minutes. But cool. He's swimming along. We have Aiden. What bait you got there, buddy? His rod went off. Must be a small thing, eh? No, I actually think I had a live on here. Mm, it's it's moving. Done, no. It's mm. moving. Wait, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's moving. Ooh, it's moving. Go. It's moving. Right here, right here. Yes. Here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna Must I get a net? Who's gonna, 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 gonna get it? Get the net there, Colonel. Get the net. Don't touch the line. Watch out, it's a big bubble. It's a cob in here, or what? It's a cob, yeah. Yeah, it's a cob. It's cobby. a cob. Yeah, oh, here we go. Nice, man. Woohoo! Oh, he's kind of dark. Beautiful little cob. Probably around 60, 60 centimeters. Awesome, guys. Yeah. Got him on a livey. It was okay. sitting out for about like, how long? Like three, four hours? Was that on a livey? Yeah, I don't even think this livey was alive. It was a <laughs> Got him on my. Let's get to the bike. No be leisure, X5, don't 10 foot. Please, please don't do it. Didn't get the fight, but beautiful fish. Get on the blind. Gonna get, let's get the release. <laughs> let's get the release. <laughs> please don't release <laughs> me. Let's <laughs> don't let me go. Yeah, that's cool. I think it's getting on the blind. Yeah, guys. <laughs> it's the next morning. It's about 8 o'clock. We all overslept because we were all tired last night. Aiden left actually already on the rubber duck to go fishing. I just moved the car this morning. Baby Z is still sleeping there in the car. <laughs> yeah, we had to pull the Andy out last night because the scupper got stuck and the deck filled with water. But I mean, simple stuff, no biggie. Yeah, we're making coffee this morning. Uncle Craig and Uncle Marcy's tent, Uncle Craig chilling there. Yeah, here's where we busy boiling our kettle now. Make us some uh, cappuccinos. It's going. Yep, it's going, going good. Okay. Yeah, so this is a private owned farm at the bread at over with uncle marcy knows the guy that owns the farm so he met he allowed us to stay because they don't usually allow camping over here um yeah so he obviously allowed us the grace to, to camp for the weekend uh very chilled very quiet yeah it's musty and cloudy but it's not cold at all and there's thunderstorms but no rain there was lightning all night but no thunder it's very confusing <laughs> but yeah it's amazing out you guys amazing 
the sleep in the car was amazing as well yeah it was good so i'll probably head out there with aiden a bit later yeah take the andy for a run around show z what the river looks like because I've, I've been here once before on the river with my old duck so one of the very first videos i posted on youtube uh but cool see you guys out there what's up guys we are on the Breda river it is saturday morning we arrived yesterday midday did do a bit of fishing yesterday managed to get three cob one little cob um, probably around like 30 centimeters and then we've got two fish from the side at about the one is at maybe seven o'clock and the one is at like hopper seven and those were i would say maybe like the one is maybe 70 centimeters and then the other one was just a bit smaller and yeah we did keep one for the braai cooked that up last night so that was very nice but yeah we are on the river now we've got three lines in one live bait just trocker and then another live bait so both those fish we caught yesterday were on live bait so yeah seems like that's the way to go i'm getting lots of bite on my trocker lots of bites on my trocker but i think it's just barbel or some small stuff but yeah guys be back on the river and yeah there's a lot less boats so it seems promising it seems promising look at this rod it's going crazy it's going crazy Yeah, have a look at this. Fish on. Fish on. On the larvae. I think I need to pull my anchor up. I don't know. Oh no. Difficult to to film and try net him. Wow, guys, that's a new species for me in the river. A little Garrick. It's so strange how it hooked him in the stomach. Hope he's going to be alright. But yeah, all I can imagine is I don't know. He must have been like tail flicking the, the mullet that's exciting though let's get this hook out and release him yeah. beautiful little Garrick let's get that release there he goes fish number one for the morning We've got something on. Oh. 
beautiful little cob. Breakfast this morning. <laughs> I won't even go inside. Got some the bacon, some sausage, some roasted roots. Did you take my kids by both for the rides? Got the butter. The, the got rises. some eggs Don't inside you know? there. We're gonna make a breakfast. It's inside the cooler that you're sitting on. <laughs> so yeah, on our portable gas cooker, got the pan. Good to go. Aiden came back. What did you say you got Aiden? I got two little cob and a little leery, so something. Yeah, on the live bed. Small though, but on live bed. You threw it back. <laughs> yeah, release, release them. This <laughs> afternoon we're gonna get them. Was yeah. it size? Forty kilos. <laughs> was it size? Yeah, they were size. It's a bit musty. It might rain. We're not Somewhere. sure, but we don't care. It's camping. We're having a good time, man. We, we got, we got protection. Yeah. You got sides if it needed. Okay, so a quick uh, roaster brood with bacon and egg on for breakfast. Um, she's got a normal roll making the uh, warming up the rest of the roaster broods and then yeah it's better with butter no? Sorry, probably gonna make it like like a nice texture to it, nice taste to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah over enough food bacon and eggs. So we're trying for the morning it's probably about half past nine now it's very hot but the wind is coming up a bit so we just put that shade there the side on yeah, Gomas is fishing, Aiden's fishing, good Craig's on the left as well fishing. Yeah, let's, we young, let's enjoy we the breakfast. Kids, it was something rare. I told you everything. But when it all burned down and you were left with nothing, did you question God or did you see it coming? Come on!
morning guys, so we just made it to the Breda River Lodge. Just wanted to show Zilka around here because he's never been here before. So we just tied up to the dock. Like that here. Chilling for now. Yeah. That's Aiden out there. He was the one on the rubber duck next to us. Here we go. That's the Andy chilling. Just tied up secured so shouldn't have any issues with that. Let's go. I don't know. They don't have saddles on, so maybe they're not. Uh. Hello! <laughs> Some horses. <laughs> so we're taking a walk to the shop from the boat, basically. To this... Looking like a bakery thing. Shop vibe. And, uh, yeah. It was about a kilometer walk down. Actually less, maybe like half a kilometer walk from the lodge. So that's where that was. We just tied the boat up. Rian. So that gravel road there is where we actually had to go into to get to the farm that we're on. Very, very harsh. <laughs> road for your car and boat oh my word i felt like my car is gonna fall apart when that was <laughs> where we were on our way up there it's bad don't you think it's chill for like new cars i don't think vibrations like that is good for any car <laughs> mm. yeah but then there is that other patch it's not that bad yeah some of it is okay but further on in this actual stretch here it gets bad like we were driving like 30 to 40 kilometers and the whole car is just like shaking yeah i got a bit worried about that so this place is called Breerde Zicht guys is that german? Dutch <laughs> it's Dutch well everything is Dutch comment down like, below let, <laughs> let me know what Zicht is yeah is it like a Dutch thing a german thing i don't know <laughs> Oh, and guys, those of you that know the Breeder pretty well, this is only my second time here, so I'm, I'm learning. Where's the shop? It's probably there. Please let me know down in the comments below all your nicks and tricks if you, if you like to share. Trust me, I know you guys like to keep this place under wraps. <laughs> but if you do know anything that you'd like to share with me, please let me know in the comments below. Aiden as well, Aiden would also like to know, hit his channel up, he's also making a video of this trip this weekend. It's Aiden Ravel, I'll put the link down in the description below. Hey guys, it's a bit windy now, it's about 15 knots of wind. That's why I'm holding the camera so low, so that I can uh, talk to you guys. <laughs> so the tide is like very low right now, so I'm going to take a walk down on the rocks and see if I can find any like oysters or black mussel or whatever the case is. You know, something we can actually throw on the pot and cook up tonight as well. Um, I know Uncle Craig and them got some oysters yesterday. So, yeah, let's see. You can see the boats are like grounded completely. See the water was all along here, the tide is going completely out. So we'll take a walk up. Hopefully I get the time right so that I can don't get stuck on the mountain. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. So I think getting some oysters, we found some oysters. Here we go. Yeah, that one's open. Ciao, Uncle Greg. Ciao. Yeah, you want to go ciao? We can uh, do it. You can get it for 
Ciao, that's protein. Ah, this is the video I did, right? Yeah, we did. There we go. Okay. That's it. Got one. Yay! Edit, edit, edit. <laughs> I will add it, yes. <laughs> I will add it. I'm not sure. Baby Z is riding the boat. Okay guys, so it's a bit dark now. Aiden and myself and Z tried out like further up the river to catch some fish, but yeah, no luck for us. Uncle Craig did manage to get an alpha while we were gone and Uncle Marcy got a leary. Uh, but they released. Just come in here. So yeah. Here we go. So yeah, that was about it for our Saturday. We got some oysters that we're actually cooking up over there now. <laughs> Z chilling. I yeah, Z rode the boat. <laughs> for the first time I was teaching her how to operate the vessel. You know, some days I might need her when she's with me to operate the vessel. Yeah, Aiden's manning the oysters over there. <laughs> Can't see him, it's a bit dark on the GoPro. But yeah. Uncle Craig and Uncle Marcy over there. Busy yeah. getting more live bait. Oh, still chill. The wind is up, but yeah, still very chill for us. We're enjoying it. It's amazing, man. <laughs> so it just started raining and thunderstorming now. Under the gazebo. But yo, it's so cozy, so nice. It's not cold at all. It's warm. <laughs> it's not cold at all. And it's liquor. I have my waterproof jacket on just because I'm running up and down. Eddie meant to go check on the boats now to make sure they're still okay, they sorted. Yeah, and they're busy eating now. So. <laughs> We're making <laughs> some coffee and tea. 
Here's the five that I was just tea, we're gonna make some tea and coffee. Yeah, I hear you. No, sorry. <laughs> and then, yeah. How's it, guys? So it's Sunday morning. It's about seven or past seven. I'm on the boat. <laughs> There's Aiden and the camp, basically, and Zilko. Some more guys camping out there. Yeah, I just decided to, you know, pull out a bit further out of casting distance. Put out the live bait there and a prone on that side. Yeah. Just to see what happens today, man. Hopefully I can uh, pull up a fish today. <laughs> I haven't actually fished much for this camping trip, you know. It's been uh, more like a chill session for me. Uh, Aiden, Uncle Craig and Uncle Marcy have been fishing quite much, quite often. And uh, yeah, Aiden's got a few, um, but he had released them all. Well, but today is Sunday, the day we will go back home today. But yeah, I figured let me try and you know be serious for once about fishing <laughs> and see if I can hook something. Did you question God or did you see it coming? Come on! Oh, come on! Yeah! Come on! Yeah, so Aiden and myself went upriver. We went to the mouth. No luck. It's a bit dead today. I don't even think we heard of anything coming out. <laughs> yeah, camp. It's Uncle Craig and Uncle Marcy there. You see, he's still at camp. Yeah, chilling now. Spinning for Larry's. On paddle tails. Craig has the white one. swim so I had a puffer fish that was interested. <laughs> there was a puffer fish there. Uh, yeah, there was a puffer fish trying to grab my my paddle tail the whole time. <laughs> it was funny. The weather is a lot better today than yesterday. Okay, guys. So it's the end of our trip. Packing up to go home. Packing the roof box there on top. Yeah. I have to get the Andy out of the water as well. So I'll just get the Andy out of the water, tie everything down, pack the last of the stuff. Then we're on our way. Yeah. So we managed maybe about a few fish, like Aiden caught a few fish, Uncle Craig caught some fish. Um, all in all, what a trip, amazing, <laughs> relaxing. I didn't even bother fishing that much because of the relaxation that I wanted to have out here. But Silke's first time at the Breda River as well. She got to experience this place like better than I got to experience it the first time. And I learned so much about the boat and about this place. So definitely we'll be back here again. It's amazing out here. We literally stayed right by the water last night. It was beautiful. All packed up. Yeah. Definitely more camping trips coming guys. That's the whole plan. Silke and myself have been planning to set up the car properly for camping and things like that. And this weekend was a start for us. Um, I think we're eating foul drift next. Uh, yeah, we we'll probably eat foul drift next. That will probably be in the new month in March. And then, yeah, you guys will definitely be along for that journey as well. We will target some elf that side. I'm off to some elf there in foul drift. I got Craig with the elf here this morning, which is going home with him. A decent size one. I think it was about like 40 centimeters or something. It was big. And, uh, yeah, that's about it.
crazy, man. Leaving me behind. Thanks for watching this video guys, till the next one, peace.